In this video, we're going to look at a, an object that we can create in R called a data frame. We've looked at some objects already that we can create in R. Consider a table. Here we've got uh, five individuals that we're gathering some data for. We've, each one of them has a unique uh, ID. Uh, we've identified their gender, either male or female, their age in years, their height, their, their weight in pounds their height in inches, whether they're smoking or not, a zero for not smoking, a one for smoking, and their ethnicity, we've identified their race over here. In the interest of time, I've used this separate editor to write down the commands that we're going to put in. So let's copy this command and uh, paste it into R. We've done this kind of thing before. We're creating an object called ID. We're concatenating these characters. Notice that they're all enclosed in uh, quotation marks. And sure enough, now we've created that object called ID. Whenever we type ID, then it's got got those uh, that that information is available. In the interest of time, I'm just going to take all of these commands that we've created and paste them into R. And so now we've created all of those those different objects. One is ID, which is the information in the ID column. One is gender, which is the information in the gender column, the age, the weight, and so on. And we'd like to put all of these together. We can create an object. Maybe we'll call it my data for this discussion. We can either use the equal sign or the the less than minus that kind of arrow object that uh, can be used to assign things to my data. Either of those are equivalent, either the equal sign or that uh, uh, less than minus arrow combination with no space in between. And what we're going to do is create something called a data frame. And that data frame is going to have the ID, the gender, the age. So the data frame, you see, gathers up a number of other objects and puts them uh, into one object. Smoking and race. Okay, so now when I when I ask what is my data, then I get essentially that table that we've got up here. We've got the ID column, we've got the gender column, we've got the age, weight, height, smoke, and race. Now here's something that I want you to understand. Remember when we created gender. We can see gender in two different places. Here as a column in this object called my data and we had also created it up here earlier as a as an object called gender. Let's look at what the class of the object called gender is. It's a character class. Now let's look at the class of my data gender. What does that what class does that column have? Now notice that, that once we put that character object into a data frame, it changed from a character to a factor. Now that becomes kind of important because if we look for the summary of gender, we get this information from R. The summary command on a character object tells us that it's that the character's got a length of five and and some other characteristics about it. But the summary of my data dollar gender. Because that column, the gender column in my data, is a factor, the summary tells us how many females there are, three, and how many males there are, two. It gives a very different kind of summary. 
So let's look at, uh, at the summary of the entire my data object. Here, the ID says that there's only one that has this ID, one that has this ID, and so on, because the ID object was brought into the data frame and became a factor. We'd really rather that that was a character. So we're going to change that in the following way. We're going to take my data dollar ID and replace it with as character my data dollar ID. So we're going to force the column in my data ID to become a character column. We don't want that one to be a factor column. We want it to be analyzed as a character column. Now look over here as well. When we look over at smoking, it looked at smoking as if it was a numerical vari variable. So it told us the minimum score, the maximum score, and and first and third quartiles, the median and the mean. And, and that isn't particularly meaningful in this particular case because that's the wrong kind of variable. So we want to change that one as well. We want my data dollar smoking to also be changed. Uh, we, we want it to be changed to an as factor my data dollar smoking. Do you see why? Because we want it to count up how many people are smoking and how many people are not smoking. We don't want it to, to, to think of those zeros and ones as numerical values, but we want them to think of them as categorical values. Okay, great. Now that gives us the possibility to look at the summary of my data. And now it gives us meaningful information in each one of the objects, in each one of those columns. The ID tells us something about the length of, of, of the data that's there. The gender is counting up how many females and how many males. The age, a five number summary makes sense in that case. The weight, a five number summary makes sense. Uh, height, a five number summary makes sense. Smoking, the important information is how many are non-smokers, how many are smokers, uh, and in, uh, in race the important thing is how many are Asian, Black, Hispanic, and so on. Okay, so that's kind of the idea of building a data frame and worrying about what the different characters are, uh, what, what the different objects are. We learn the class command so that we could kind of see what they are. And R handles different classes in different ways.